Hi guys, this is my review of the Xperia ROM for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. So this is the Android 4.1.2, that's the Jelly Bean. And this is the Xperia Note ROM. So check the description for the download links and the installation method. So coming to the lock screen, you have this ripple lock with this ink effect. There you can see it. You also have this CRT of animation. There you have it. Yep. And you also get these shortcuts on your lock screen. Uh, you can just swipe up to open that app. So you have got this uh, Xperia look. You know the Xperia battery icon. And the page indicator at the top. You can just see it. And uh, the movable wallpaper the phone i mean the icons the app drawer you cannot move the app drawer left or right that's permanent you also have this uh, default jelly bean notification bar and if you press the menu button you don't get the normal settings that you get in the touchwiz launcher you have these options you know to change the wallpaper or you can go on to launcher settings else you can uh, add any additional app or widgets from this plus icon and you can choose any of the widget and you can also add any icon or any shortcuts from your app drawer you can directly tap and hold it and drag it onto the preferred lock screen oh, sorry home screen yep there you go if you overlap one icon with another it will automatically ask you to create a new folder so that's good. So you have the default Jelly Bean dialer, but you have this Xperia keyboard. Yep, there you have it. And you can go on to settings from this notification bar. And at the top, you have this settings icon. You can just tap it to go on to the settings menu. So this ROM is really, really fast. No lags, no issues, no force closes. You have got our Xperia album. There you have it. Awesome Beats that works with the Walkman player. There you have it. I have tested it. Working fine. No issues. The cast cleaner. The camera is working fine as well. There you have it. Yep. Okay, there it is. You also have Function Testa, GL to SD, Mini Diary, Movies, uh, No LED Settings, Notes, it's like Sticky Notes, Play Movies, Pop-Up Browser for Multitasking, PlayStation Mobile, RAM Manager Pro, Root Explorer, the S Note works fine. Even the S Pen Functions works as well. Okay, there you have it. No issues. You also can take the screenshots. Yep, there you have it. Pressing this button and double tapping onto the screen will open up the S memo. There you have it. Working fine. You also have this S voice. So, works fine. Double pressing the home button will open up the S voice. So, there you have it. Google now works as well. Okay, there you go. You have the Smart Connect. It's like the Samsung keys for Sony Ericsson mobiles. Sorry, Xperia mobiles. Uh, the track ID. This helps you find details about the song that you're li listening. Uh, Walkman player and the Xperia stuffs. But you do get some crashes with this Xperia Motion Snap. Whenever I uh, try to open this app and take a snapshot, it crashes. So that's the only issue with this ROM. Other than that, everything is working fine. Really fast, really smooth. Except this, you know, everything is working fine. The Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS, browsing, the S Pen functions, the motion controls. Just to show you, you have this uh, smart rotation and the smart stay, both works fine, no issues. 
You even have the pace buddy, works fine, I've tasted it. Even the multi window and the air view works perfect. Okay, there you have it. That's the air view. Okay, there you go. So the air view on the multi window works fine. So you can just uh, swipe left or swipe right to close any app. You can just uh, clear your notification just by swiping it up. So you have all the gesture controls working as well. So all the motion controls works as well. So no issues with any of the functionality. The battery life is also pretty normal. Like uh, you do get like six to eight hours for heavy users and 15 plus hours for moderate users. So if you have any issues with the battery, follow the link to and do a battery calibration that will fix your battery draining issues. So all the functions from the Jelly Bean is working fine, no issues with any of the functionality. So the ROM is really fast, really smooth. You can just uh, try this ROM, you know, just for a change to get an Xperia experience. So that's all about my review guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay subscribed, bye bye now and have a good day.